You know, I never thought I'd fall in love with an iPhone 5 replacement of an iPhone 12 mini. And if you're being honest here, it's pretty much the same exact size phone. And coming from an iPhone 14 Pro, which is, holy crap, like seven times the size of this, I didn't know what to expect. Now, here on the screen, by the way, Apple does no, no longer do they sell the iPhone 12 mini. They, now they sell the iPhone 13 mini. It's the last mini device in their lineup because apparently these didn't sell that well. Apparently just taking the iPhone 5 and giving it 5G and upgraded graph uh, upgraded everything did not sell as well as they expected it to. They did do two generations of it, but they did not sell it as well. Here's a fun fact. The iPhone 12 mini is actually better specced out than the iPhone 13. Is that um, 12, 13 mini? Is that not crazy? So apparently this has a bigger battery life than the iPhone 13 mini. It also has a, I think a better screen resolution than the iPhone 13 mini. Like they took the iPhone 13 mini and said, we're going to give you another one, but with worse specs than your last one. <clears throat> now, after 24 hours of owning this bad boy, what's my opinion? Well, I surprisingly enough do not miss my gigantic display. Now, overall wise, I don't use my phones as a entertainment slash watch YouTube slash watch stuff on it. So not having a humongous display didn't really impact me as much, right? I have iPads, to have 5G if I want to go ahead and watch YouTube watch a movie, watch TVs. I also have computer monitors, A, B, C here that can, you know, help me devil, deliver that goal. So it really wasn't a huge deal of, oh my gosh, I, I can no longer watch you. I can still watch YouTube on this, but it's very small. That wasn't a big deal. I think the biggest problem, and I realized this when I went back to the iPhone 11 for a day, was actually the 120 hertz display. You don't realize how much you get used to 120 hertz until it's gone. Because once you start using like an old phone like this again, you're like, why is this so slow? Why is this so slow? Like this should not be this slow. And it is slow. Not only because this has 4 gigabytes of RAM and this bad boy right here has 6 gigabytes of RAM, but it's also 120 hertz display. But outside of those two limiting factors, I actually love this phone. And it's funny because every review I've seen of an iPhone 12 mini or 13 mini, everyone says, you know, they do it because, you know, you just want to once in your life experience a small phone again. You know, just see how it feels. See how you like it. Like, oh my gosh, look, I have a tiny, tiny phone. And you do it as a joke, right? Or a joke as experience. But then you fall in love with it again. And I think that really is what I'm starting to do here. Is fall in love with this type phone again. Because it's so <coughs> easy to do everything. You know, listen. I have big hands. But this phone is ginormous. Same thing with my Galaxy S23 Ultra. Even if my hands are giant, these devices are giant too. I can do everything I need. With this phone, with one hand, without any hassle at all. Changing a song, you know, texting somebody, Twitter, whatever. It's actually nice to have a smaller design, a smaller form factor. It also has upgraded cameras, which is nice of, obviously, what an iPhone 5 would have. And it just feels, it feels so nice in your hand. And it, I was not expecting that. I'm not going to lie, when I got this, I was not expecting to like it. I was expecting to get this, talk about it in the video, cover it, and then end up returning it in about like a month or so when I'm just like, okay, I need to go back to a bigger phone. But I don't think I'm going to. This phone feels just so premium for such a small phone. I, I can't even explain it other than the fact that like, again, maybe it's just my personal opinion because I'm coming from a huge phone, but it just feels right. Now, I'm not trying to hit you guys with the Goldilocks, you know. This one's too small, this one's too large, this one's just right. But, 
I even like it better than the iPhone 11 Pro. Um, what's called phone screen size, which is I, in my opinion, I believe one of the best screen sizes you can get on a cell phone. I do believe that some screens are just simply too big, 6.7 and 6.9 inch, just a tad bit too big for myself. Um, I feel like that 6.2, 6.3 inch is kind of the ballpark range, 6.4 inch, it's kind of that ballpark perfect range for a, as a cell phone. If you're using a candy bar cell phone, obviously not if you're using a you know, a um, foldable cell phone. But using candy bar cell phone, I think that's the best range possible. But if you are using this as, again, this I think this display right here, I believe it's a 5.7-inch display, which I believe this one is a 5-inch display. So a tad bit, a little bit bigger than this one. Obviously, screen size is a little bit bigger than this one, even though size-wise, they're very, very similar. Um, you guys can see this is, if we... So at the bottom here, right? That's how much bigger it is than the iPhone 5. But still, again, like I said, I'll say this a million times. I love this phone. I, I Again, and it's so funny because if you watch any review of someone who uses a 12 mini or 13 mini, the one thing they always say is, I don't expect to love it and I love it. And that's what I can say about this phone. Does everything you need, has Bluetooth, has wireless charging, has 5G. It's actually the first of the first iterations of iPhones with 5G is going to be the iPhone 12 series. Now, again, I had an option to get a 13 mini. I chose a 12 mini over 13 mini because if you guys look at specs, this is a better device than this device, which is still crazy for me to say that out loud. But definitely tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Have you ever tried out any of the minis? I never in my life thought I was going to, but now that I did, I'm actually pretty happy because it is actually that next level experience that you're like, okay, especially with nowadays, guys. Nowadays, with all the phones out there, huge displays, tons of stuff on them, it's nice to get back to the simple basics. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.